now. There's a lot of different variables in that uh, that I won't get into. But instead, let's just try and answer it in a very, very simplistic way. Realistic startup costs on Amazon are $500. Realistic startup costs, okay? Now, clearly, how much it costs you to start your business is really going to depend on a lot of different variables. Things like, what the hell are you ordering? What's your first product you're going to sell? Because if your product costs you 50 bucks to buy on Amazon, before you even get to sell it on Amazon, so you buy it from your supply, it costs you $50, and then you put it on Amazon, you enlist it for $200, for instance, then uh, clearly you're going to spend more than $500 just on buying your stock for your business. It's going to cost you more. So that's one variable to consider. The other variable you've got to consider is uh, how competitive is the marketplace you're trying to sell in. So let's take an example from earlier. If you've got 500 bucks and you're expecting to be able to start selling protein powder in America on Amazon.com and make a go of it, then you're living in la la land. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, go take some pills. It ain't gonna happen. That shit's just never gonna happen. Wait, I shouldn't say never because there's a way that it could happen. Here's how it could happen. If you found a spokesperson slash celebrity with a pre-existing audience of people and you went to that celebrity slash spokesperson and said, hey, you know, you are a very fit and active person. Uh, have you thought about getting your own branded line of products selling on Amazon? I'd like to partner with you to do that. I'm an Amazon expert and uh, an, a, a protein powder with your name on it. We could then sell that to your existing subscribers, your followers on Instagram and Twitter, whatever it may be. In that situation, you could theoretically start a selling on in protein powders for a lot less money because you've got an instantaneous marketplace there. But I can't think of another way that it would work other than that. So if you've got a celebrity friend or indeed a celebrity within a niche who's a friend, you can do that. Otherwise, pick your market carefully because every market will require a different strategy and different costings to launch in. So hope that helps, Jeff, and I hope that makes sense for you, mate. But on average, here's an average, 500 bucks average, that will get you into a lot of really, really good markets. You only have to look at folks like uh, 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 Kate Ingham, who started her business with $250, now uh, $32,000. Uh, the lovely Anita Leo, $400, I think she was. Uh, $29,000 a month, etc., etc., etc. So there are ample, ample amounts of evidence to say that you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on this. You just need to be smart in picking your market and then approaching it based on what I teach you. If you do those things, you will, you will uh, certainly raise the bar in terms of your chances of succeeding online. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue 
who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.